of employees here today. Well, here we are, getting ready for the final off, doing our last bits and pieces. I'll just you. David's doing his uh, tire bits. John's not here because John hey, is with us in spirit, but absent. We're not surprised, really. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Look at this man in action. Here's my wee beastie. All packed up. Ready? Here we are. Inside the Euro Summit. There's Scott. Hello, Scott. <laughs> and there's the one we don't know. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> And he has our lovely bikes all bubbling about, all covered in crap. And these are, these are the, only the bikes of the cool folk. The riffraff are all behind locked doors through here. Here we are. Through the door. And here's, here's where the riffraff live. In the scummer's quarters, all alone, because nobody wants to share one with David and John, because they smell. <laughs> Oh. John's getting into the spirit. A little bit of Nindo there. What's oh, it comed up? All comed up. It's kind of messy. Oh, man. let's have a look at this comms kit. Oh, that <laughs> looks like sophisticated technical piece of equipment there. Oh, but there, Mark. Very kindly, thank you. Well installed, David, I must say. Very professionally done. <laughs> very professionally done. Is that some heat shrink there, I noticed? No, it's No, it's not, actually. Don't look too closely. Heat shrink, no, no, I think the heat shrink is a bit down there. Heat around, shrink, around. Oh, the morning after the night before. As you can see, our bikes are pretty wet. There's the other lads over there. This is the lovely hotel we arrived at rather late last night after the worst weather I have ever ever experienced on a bike such rain oh my goodness it got in anywhere and here's the boys so Mark has got his video camera and his camera. So, how are we feeling this morning, gentlemen? Feeling fine. Raring to go. <laughs> yeah. 600 miles, no problem. After our little bit of dampness yesterday. As you can see, Mr. Condell isn't here. But hey, is anybody surprised? Probably not. I'm sure he will join us shortly. Hey, good morning. Here we are. It's uh, Saturday morning, where uh, the sun is shining. We're in um, Augsburg, just outside of Munich. Ausburg. Growing two ways, Augsburg, Berg, 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 Berg. Um, We had an uh, incredibly rainy start um, through the train and into France and then through the toll roads and uh, some fun and games with uh, John and the Twisties. and. Um, Linden, and uh, here we are, all lovely this morning. Here's the boys, <laughs> laughing at me and putting me off terribly. <laughs> there we go, all lovely, We're all ready to go. Across, we stayed here last night, which wasn't really the plan. But certainly better than camping at 9.30 last night. This is the campsite. <laughs> yeah. Guys looking a tad impatient well. because we should be on the road by now, but okay, hey, just wanted to do it. Yes. <laughs> it certainly so was. And the beds were comfy. <laughs> and, the and John wasn't here. And John. <laughs> we did some cooking which involved the Chinese across the road. That was One just, walk to dinner. just over there. <laughs> just zoom in a little bit. Um, da da, Chinese restaurants. As far as we ventured in Augsburg. Anyway, we're setting off. Next stop. Austria. Next stop, Austria. And. Uh, Amazing with Lyndon and John. Fingers crossed, everybody. Here we are, the boys have just arrived. There's an unscheduled stop. And there's Scott. Oh, come on, man. Oh, <laughs> Welcome to Slovenia. We've just pulled in, setting up our campsite for the night. As you can see, Anna's nice, but helpful van. Thank you, guys. As you can see, it's a hideous location we have here down by the lakeside. And the boys are setting up camp. 
as you can see there's absolutely no competition at all to see who can get their tent up first because we're all very safe with our own masculinity and don't need to take part in any of that silly bollocks well good morning here we are in Croatia this is uh, day full day three and um, day four in total Monday morning and we've just been here on Monday morning we go up it's uh, 20 past seven and we're having a little swim is that the most enthusiastic you can be <laughs> <laughs> That's better, thank you John. You're on candid camera. Is it a bit chilly? Just a wee bit chilly. <laughs> oh, I was just dried off then. Things you have to do. So, good morning. Today's the day of the big split. Um, Scott and Lyndon are going to leave us at Split and uh, get the ferry to Ancona in Italy and head off um, and have a last which will be a bit sad. We've had uh, great times with the guys and um, it's leaving the three amigos to make a decision this morning on whether it's going to be Dubrovnik um, and then through Macedonia or um, Sarajevo and then um, inland through Bulgaria. Decisions, decisions. Everything's going well so far. All bikes and equipment seem to be working absolutely perfectly. We've got rid of the um, awful rain in um, Austria, Germany, and France. Um, 11 degrees on one side of the Alps when we pass through and um, popped out into glorious sunshine on this side. Um, yesterday got up to 30 degrees. Um, very nice. Much, much better. Sleeping well. Um, absolutely dump of a campsite last night, but uh, sleeping on gravel, thank God for Thermaris, but um, yeah, right, we're all doing really well, probably halfway mileage wise and halfway time wise, so go well, speak to you soon. And here's a fine figure of a man, look at that, oh please, not too much, I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> um, I just do me 20 press ups and a, a 20 mile run before <laughs> breakfast. Uh, well, apparently, there's a lovely route just, just up there along the beach. <laughs> just outside Dubrovnik, just pulled over. I have a quick look. That's something a lot bigger than us. And here's David taking a picture. Just down the stairs, Incredible. He's using the screws to move out that way. So it comes this way. Okay, must have screwed at the side then. It's quite a beastie. So here we are, about 30 miles from the Turkish border. Um, pulled over to get some petrol, and unfortunately, things we thought were all going just a little too well. And David's bike has sprung a petrol leak, so we're collectively trying to work out how we can affect. A repair. Well, hello, uh, here I am, um, sitting on the ferry in well, sitting waiting for the ferry on the dockside, we've just missed one. Next one in about 45 minutes um, in Ekabat. Um, our first sort of pause in Turkey. We um, 
eventful day today riding from Thessalonica um, making incredibly good time fantastic highway um, just really good stuff uh, stopped for a second lot of petrol and um, unfortunately noticed that David's uh, bike was leaking a lot of fuel um, took about two and a half hours and the assistance of some local um, uh, Greek peeps to help the sort us out and which they did rather nicely um, and we're on the road again but it, it's made for a bit of a late start um, sitting here on my top watching the bikes which are safely parked over here as you can see um, John and David have gone to find cash point and some little bijou kebabets I think just to feast on it's now um, it's now 20 past 10 um, far too late really to be travelling and we're going to go across the other side find somewhere to uh, stop for the night a decent hotel and get some kip and a few beers and to go be reunited with our loved ones at long last it's been a fantastic trip absolutely superb um, but I think we're a bit tired now um, a bit uh, weary with the motorbike riding um, and very much looking forward to seeing our wives and children so we shall see them all soon uh, I think that's it that'll be me for now um, I can see what looks to be like a ferry crossing a harbour out there you can't really see here but I think that is likely to be one coming back the other way for us to get on. Oh, just pop it in there. Yeah. Oh, again. Um, here we are. On the, I'll just shut the door for a second. Here we are at the end of day one on um, the road back after a less than lovely time in Fetier. Um, um, some good times were had, yeah, but a bit of fraught all in all. Um, we set off this morning under um, a little more of a cloud than we arrived, I think, to be honest. But um, it was good riding, nice and easy. Um, first 250 miles or so to Izmir, um, where we the fellowship broke, as they would say, uh, Lord of the Rings style. Uh, came to an end. John went off on his um, nine day adventure uh, all on his own. Um, through Istanbul and wherever he ever ends up. Um, we wished him luck and, us, and safe travel, obviously. Um, and David and I travelled to Sesme to catch the ferry. And here we are on the ferry in our slightly less than salubrious accommodation. Um, very small, very deep down in the depths, even underneath the cars. Um, <laughs> very damp, a bit smelly, but you know, a cabin and certainly better than sleeping on the deck. And I think we'll sleep really well in here because there's no windows or anything and we can lock the door and our stuff is safe. Um, I had a few, a couple of drinks in the bar because we were so frazzled and we didn't actually get on board till 4 o'clock in the morning. And it was very, very tiring. Lots of Turkish bureaucracy, lots of Turkish manana. Um, we were first at the front of the queue to get on and then they held us aside while they put all of the cars on and then put us on afterwards. But, you know. Never mind, we're on board now, we're going to have some sleep, David's having a quick shower, and um, two more days time, or one and a half days time actually, um, after we've slept a bit, we'll be in Italy, and back in uh, some sort of normal country, back in Euroville, hopefully, and um, less bureaucracy, less hassly borders, and um, some nice roads and a quick route home. Anyway, we shall see you soon, hopefully. Thank you, bye-bye. Have a quick spin around the whole 
wonderful, lovely room. Look at that lovely room. <laughs> and as you can see, it's kind of almost on sweet. This is the way you would swim if you were drowning. Or the ship went down. Don't walk into the wall. And we go up oh, the first flight of stairs. Slightly out of the bowels. To the car deck. Up again. To the second car deck. Up again. To the cabin deck where normal people live. There's no sign of land at all. Well, there is no distant horizon there. Eh? Everyone's at the front in eager anticipation. However, the cynic in me somewhat doubts that we'll be docking in 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes, Italian time. But I think we have Moving another... To Turkish time. I think we have another hour in 10 minutes. But there you go. That's what our ship looks like. And that's David. Good as it gets. There we go. Lovely scene. The French wheel. Scene of complete stupidity. Just when you thought all oh, was going well, and we were making really, really good time to get down to the Euro Tunnel to make it home for seven o'clock, which would be absolutely fantastic. I uh, 12 miles from Calais, I've run out of petrol. Um, Gage said I had six miles left to go, but um, it's run out altogether. 
So here I am, stranded by the side of the road. David has gone off down that way about 20 minutes ago. Um, hopefully he'll come back at some stage with some petrol for me. Otherwise I could be here for a long time. Unfortunately he's going to come back and he's going to ride up the road and go whizzing right past me and have to go five miles in the direction before he can turn around and come back. And as you see, as you'll notice, the vast majority of the plates on these cars whizzing past here are all British plates. And like really good British, good Samaritans, they're all stopping to ask him if I'm okay. And note the sense of irony there, because not a single sod's done anything like that, including bikers. So much for bikers, eh? Anyway, sitting here and uh, we'll see if we can get any fuel to get the Red Devil back on the road. Fingers crossed.